Ah, ah. Yeah! Okay, yeah, that's not how it actually happened. Here's how it actually happened. I think for a lot of people, when they think about the areas of their life that they want to get better at, sleep patterns has to be one of the most common ones because it definitely is for me. This week I did a bit of perusing on Amazon as one does, and I found an item that I think could potentially help me with my sleep patterns. This device is called the Shock Clock 2. Wearable, silent, vibrating, zapping, alarm clock for heavy sleepers. Disable with jumping jacks or code scan. So basically, I got a watch that will hopefully zap me out of bed. And it costs $150, so please leave a like on this video. But with all that said, it got here today, baby. So, within this box is our Shock Clock 2. So, here's what I wanna do today. I wanna open this up, I wanna test it out, and then give you all a consensus if this is actually a good product that can help you get out of bed earlier. If it can help you stay on schedule and help you build better habits. And full transparency, I am a little bit scared of this watch. It's, it's called the Shock Clock. Let's open it. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's called the, the Pavlock 2. Reduce cravings, break bad habits, nail biting, mindless eating, wake up early, and more. All right, the back says, don't just track what you do, change what you do. Pavlock uses vibration, sound, and electric impulses to reward good behaviors and stop bad ones. This reminds me of the movie, The Ultimate Gift, where like the grandpa walks into the room and, and zaps him with a cow rod. Good morning. What is your problem? Okay, I'm intrigued. So let's open this up. Let's charge it up if it needs to be charged. And let's, let's try it out. Ooh, look at that. With a little uh, yellow thingy for some, some poppy contrast. I'm like already kind of scared just to handle this thing. I feel like I'm just going to be touching it and then like... <laughs> so this is kind of interesting. It gives you like a rubber band, not a a rubber band, but a band made of rubber, okay? With like a little cutout for like the lightning bolt. And then you get like a little module. And I can only assume that this is the thing that, uh, that zaps ya. Okay, back to my couch. Some instructions, perhaps. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, the way that it describes how to break habits seems a little weird. Step number one is wear your Pavlock throughout the day. Notice when you start to do the undesired action. Step two is zap yourself when you notice that you are having the impulse. So it just expects you to click a button and shock yourself. I don't know how effective that'll be. Oh no, I'm eating a donut again. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know if that's gonna work. But you know, we are gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so there's a remote control app for the watch that I need to get, so I'm gonna get that real quick, then we're gonna charge up this little zapping module, and uh, then I'll see you in a second. Hey guys. I'm scared. Okay, so I just downloaded the app and it has me going through and picking the zap strength that I wanna electrocute myself with. So, okay, here we go. It's starting at 10%, let's try it. Okay, it's counting down. Three, two, one. Okay, that wasn't bad, that was almost nothing. 50, 50, doesn't hurt, right? Okay, here we go. Three. Oh, that stung. My hand like clenched on the inside. Oh, I'm gonna hate myself for doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it to 100% and then save it. I don't want, okay, I just earned points for doing that, for torturing myself. So I guess now we just need to see if it gets me up tomorrow, which I'm pretty sure it's going to. Oh, what am I doing? Ah, ah, yeah! Okay, yeah, that's not how it actually happened. Here's how it actually happened. Okay, problem one that I had to solve for is that my camera couldn't run all night because it would run out of battery, I'd run out of memory, so I had to figure out how I could film myself right when I got shocked. This is where my roommate Josiah comes in. Josiah had an early morning the next day, so I set up my camera at the right angle and I asked Josiah if before he leaves in the morning, if he could just go by my room and click record. And he did. Uh, just my actual reaction wasn't that good. Uh, but here you go. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Okay, jumping jacks, I guess. Hmm. <sighs> okay, we've had the shot clock. The Pavlock 2, El Zapador. We've had it for about two days. Last night I used it for real, as I just showed you. And um, I have some thoughts. Okay, number one. Does it work? Yes, it works. It certainly works. I would be surprised if that zap 
does not wake you up. When you crank that thing to 100%, you're gonna feel it, okay? Now, should you get one? Uh, I think it really depends on who you are. If you struggle to wake up by your normal alarm clock, then this actually could be, it could be a good alternative. It might be a little bit painful and the whole jumping jacks thing could get annoying, uh, but it might be a good solution. So on episode one of Danny trying out random productivity slash habit building gadgets, does the shock clock get my stamp of approval? Yes. It actually does. So I had a bunch of fun making this video, and so I wanted to throw an idea at you guys, see what you think. I would love to make a series on this channel where I review random productivity items that are supposed to optimize your life, and then I give you my own consensus if it's actually a good product that could be helpful in your life. I've already got my eye on a handful of other random weird devices, so if you wanna see a series like this, make sure you like this video, leave a comment below so I know, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start making those videos. Alrighty, if you enjoyed this video, and if you like content about building better habits, then I think you might like this video right here about my goal setting process. So go ahead and check that out and consider subscribing if you enjoy this kind of content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.